I'm so excited, dear. Are you excited? You are. Yes. Well, oh, it's been wonderful exploring the rainforest, hasn't it? What's that? Oh, everyone at home is watching, are they really? Well, hello, Storytime Adventurers, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Whiffle Waffle and Friends. That's right. Well, Stinky and I are very excited today because we've been exploring the rainforest, my dear Poppets. Yes, deep in the rainforest, and there was a thunderstorm. I could feel the cool of the rainforest underneath my feet. And then, of course, as we looked up to the very top, we could hear the macaws stretching out their damp wings and enjoying the cool breeze. Yes, after a very long, hot day. Well, Stinky, have you had fun exploring the rainforest? What's that? Are we still in the rainforest? Why do you ask that, dear? There's a lady sitting beside you with something very, very interesting. Yes, well, Stinky, there is because today, boys and girls and mums and dads, of course, we have got somebody very special who has joined us for story time today. We have the wonderful Emma here who has brought on an actual macaw. Hello, Emma. How are Hello. you here? I'm pretty good. Thanks that's, for having me. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming on to story time today. I know Stinky is very, very excited. And of course, all the boys and girls at home who are watching and the mums and dads, of course. So I suppose, uh, Emma, what can we learn about macaws? Um, well, first off, they're from South America, around the Amazon and the clay banks around the marshes and such. Wow, how very, very interesting. Yes, that most certainly is. And uh, it's, oh, I can hear something in, in there. Oh, I'm very curious as to what's in there. Is there one macaw or two? We'll just have to wait and see and find out, Stinky. Oh, yes, I'm very, very excited indeed. Very, very excited. Oh, yes, macaw. Oh, I can hear that. Can you hear that, Stinky? Oh, yes. Very, very excited. Perhaps I should lower my voice. Yes, maybe I should lower my voice just a bit. Oh, I don't think she wants to come out of there. No. Oh, she's coming out. Oh, how wonderful, wonderful. Oh, she's better. Absolutely beautiful. And boys and girls, would you look at this marvelous <coughs> that Emma has. Oh, she's beautiful, Emma. She really is. What's that, Stinky? She has lovely bright feathers. Yes, she does. Well, Emma, how long have you been a wildlife carer, dear? Uh, probably... Few, quite a few years now I've been helping out and doing volunteer work with rescue and rehabilitation of wildlife. Wow, that's wonderful. Very, very exciting indeed. And of course, boys and girls, I suppose we should ask, what is your macaw's name, dear? So this is Luna. How marvellous, Luna. Luna's around eight, nine months old. Wow, she certainly is very, very beautiful indeed. Now, I suppose, Emma, for all the boys and girls watching, um, can anyone have a macaw for a pet? Um, they do require quite a bit of experience. They aren't for uh, new bird owners, you know. Um, they are for, for people who have owned parrots for quite a bit and have a lot of experience with parrots. That is simply wonderful. And I suppose, really, it would be a big responsibility to have a macaw as a pet. Um, you'd really have to know what you were doing and to take very special uh, care. Yeah, that's, such a magnificent bird. That's right, yeah. It does, does require quite a bit of time and uh, maintenance and effort and yeah, that it does. What's that, Stinky? Uh, does, it, does the macaw like eating mice, Stinky likes to um, know? No, she's, she's not a meat eater. She's, uh, she eats fruit, nut, seeds, um, even... <coughs> Out in the wild, you find them eating clay to help with their digestion. And how wonderful! Well, I never knew there's so much information about macaws, Stinky. And of course, well, does she have a special food that she like that she particularly likes to eat, dear? She absolutely loves pecans. Oh, wonderful, and Stinky! And bananas. Yes, well, I do like bananas myself. Lovely. I have to say. And is she kept inside, or where where is Luna? <coughs> 
Uh, she's kept in an indoor enclosure, um, but she does have an outside, outside aviary that she can go out in and fly and exercise. How wonderful. Well, she really does seem to be enjoying her snack there. Um, she looks very, very comfortable indeed. And uh, does there any other food ah. you like to eat besides bananas? Um, no, just there's quite a bit of a range. They all have individual personality on what they like, what they don't like. Um, she, she loves oranges, mandarin. How wonderful. Yes, you've got to make sure you have those citrus fruits. Well, she is absolutely adorable. Oh, what's that? There's a pop at home that has a question. Is there really? Yes, dear, you'll have to speak up a bit. What's your question? Yes, I got that. Uh, this little pocket at home, I do, but what's your name, dear? <coughs> Michael. Michael would like to know, can you teach macaws how to do tricks? Um, certainly, they are incredibly smart. They, they have a mental, they're, they're as smart as a five-year-old child. Goodness gracious, are um, they really? And yeah, they, they can pick up, they can talk, they can um, pick up quite a few tricks. Um, she's in the middle of learning one at the moment, you can do it. Oh, she can shake your hand. To do oh, that's wonderful. Yes, she is very smart, Stinky. Very, very smart indeed. Right oh, right look at that, boys and girls. Oh, she is wonderful, I have to say. Um, do you think I could have a would I be able to pat Luna? Sure. Now where's the best place for me to pat her? She absolutely loves her neck being scratched. Does she? Hello, Luna. Oh, you're a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. Oh yes, you're lovely. Beautiful feathers. Oh, you're a good girl, yes. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh, look at that, Stinky. You like her very much? Oh, she's wonderful. She really is, isn't she? Well, boys and girls, mums and dads, we are so lucky to have uh, someone like Emma, who is simply marvellous, who does such a wonderful job taking care <coughs> of our wildlife animals and especially a beautiful bird like Luna. I feel very, very privileged not only to see Luna, but to be able to pat her as well. It's a very, very special moment indeed. Don't you think, Stinky? Yes, very, very special indeed. Now, Emma, do you have any other animals that you care for, apart from uh, the macaw, of course? Um, yes, I'd know I've actually got here with me. Um, I'll just... Back. Yeah. Wonderful. Absolutely marvellous, isn't she, Stinky? Yes, she is. Wonderful. Do you think we could have a pet macaw? Well, I don't know, dear. Emma has a lot of experience with the macaw, so um, I'm not so sure it's something that we may have to think about because, as Emma said before, dear, it is quite a big responsibility to have a macaw as a pet, and you have to know what you are doing. Yes, yes, back in her cage for the time being, in her carry, carry box. And I wonder what other exciting animal Emma has for us today. You're excited? Yes, I'm excited as well. It's simply marvellous. Very, very exciting indeed. Yes, wonderful. This is one of them. Oh, and here comes another animal. Yes, oh, I can see something there. Yes, can you? Oh, look what we have here, Stinky. How simply marvellous. Oh, yes. Oh, that is wonderful. Look at that. They're very pretty. Yes, they are very pretty indeed. Now, what do we have here, Emma? These are blue tongue lizards. Blue, blue tongue, tongue lizards. How simply marvellous. Uh, I suppose the boys and girls would be wondering, Emma, where are blue tongues located? Where so, do you find them? Quite a few ranges of species. You've got the eastern blue tongue, which is what I have here. You've got the blotched and okay. the alpine. Um, they're found all over Australia. Um, the eastern is more sort of down this area in rams. How? Melbourne and she was actually picked up in Melbourne. She's one of my rescues. She was actually attacked by a dog. Oh, how dreadful. 
Yes, for the poppets watching at home, this particular blue tongue here that Emma is holding was attacked by a dog, unfortunately. So this is one that she has rescued and is taking very good care ah. of. And for those poppets watching, um, blue tongues are found in Australia. Um, and we're very, very lucky to have these marvellous creatures here. Simply wonderful. And how old are these ones here? So these are these about... Ah months of age six months of age and they'll be um, is this uh, obviously the adult one here she's fully grown this is her their mother actually they um, she gave birth to these the night I rescued her how wonderful um, and how exciting she actually had 11 11 babies. 11 baby blue tongues and what they the don't egg lay either oh they don't well stinky just said to me he thinks they're very very cute he'd like to have a little bit of a look there yes he's sniffing oh yes What's that? You think they're adorable? Yes, they are adorable. How? Well, look at the blue tongue, Stinky. Yes, giving you a bit of a sniff there, checking you out. Well, simply, simply marvellous. Do you think I could hold one, Emma? Would that be yeah, all right? Sure. Yes, yeah, so I just... Just sort of support the whole body. Support the whole body. Yeah. Rest on. Oh, on the top of Stinky's head there. He doesn't mind that at all. Oh, how wonderful. And I can see the little ah! ears there at the side. Um, do they have good hearing, Emma? They do, they do have rather good hearing. And they've got that, of course, I'll hold up so the poppers at home can see that wonderful blue tongue that is constantly flicking in and out. They're using that tongue marvelous. to taste the air and sort of Are they? smell what's around, yeah. How wonderful! Oh yes, and what sort of things do blue tongues like to eat? They absolutely love snails. So do they're, they? They're amazing for people's gardens at home. There's a lot of people who don't like having them. But oh. They are incredible for your for your garden. They get rid of pests like snails and do slugs. Do they really? Yeah. Well, mums and dads, if you just heard that, blue tongues are great for the garden. So if you've got a snail problem, perhaps a blue tongue is the right sort of pet for you. Now, I suppose, Emma, for the poppets at home that are wondering, the boys and girls, if they'd like to have a blue tongue as a pet, do they need a special licence or they anything like that? don't require a licence. Some parts um, require like, different licences for different animals. These don't require a licence um, as they, they, they're rather quite common and they are easy to look after and they're good for, for children who, who like reptiles and who, who like something reptiles. different. Yes. Well, I think they're simply adorable. I absolutely love them very, very much. How wonderful it is that we have all these marvellous creatures. It simply is wonderful. Um, and I think it's simply marvellous, Emma, with what you do, taking care of all these wonderful ah! animals, educating our dear poppets out there and giving them the right information that they were interested in perhaps becoming a wildlife carer or handler like Emma. What's that stinky? You think perhaps you'd like to do what Emma does when you grow up? Yes, well perhaps you could. That's something that you could think about. It's simply been marvellous, hasn't it? We're very lucky! Yes, we are very, very lucky indeed. Well, Emma, I suppose, um, is there anything that you'd like to finish with? Anything that you'd particularly like to share with the boys and girls watching if they're interested in becoming a wildlife carer like yourself? Um, just sort of keep, keep at it. Um, ah! try, and, try and track down someone who can guide you the right way. Um, yes. Well, I think that's excellent advice. Yes, I think that most certainly is. Well, I have to say thank you so much, Emma, for coming in uh, today and showing these wonderful blue tongue lizards for all the boys and girls at home. We really do appreciate it very, very much. And of course, we can't forget Luna, the wonderful macaw. She was just simply ah! wonderful. You're still, still very excited. Yes, I'm excited as well. And oh, I suppose we should ask, do these blue tongues have names? They haven't really got names. They, they haven't got names, no. no, not yet. They are in the process of being named, but um, they were being, they were planned on being a rescue, uh, a release, so I wasn't really planning on naming them. Well, that's all right as well. Well, for all the mums and dads and poppets watching, I hope you enjoyed uh, a very special story time uh, it has been today, all our story time adventurers out there. And of course, thank you to the wonderful Emma for bringing in her blue tongues and of course her marvellous macaw, Luna. We do appreciate it very, very much. 
And Emma, we hope that you can visit us again for story time very, very soon. Yeah, I'd, I'd love that. That would be wonderful. And as always, my story time adventurers, thank you for watching this very, very special story time. Perhaps you could pretend to be in a rainforest and looking up at the macaws high up in the treetops, or perhaps you could pretend that you're a blue tongue lizard. And as always, my dear ones, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.